Hi everyone, Angela here with Allocate Designs, back to share another journal with you. And this one here is my September design team project for Tsunami Rose Designs. Uh, this one I'm kind of calling the, the collector, but it's kind of like the collector, the hoarder, the pack rat. Um, <laughs> all, all combined. Uh, so I used various ephemera from Tsunami Rose. Um, I've been on her design team for a little over a year now. So I went through all of my files and just printed off a slew of different pieces of ephemera and journaling cards and all sorts of goodies from all of her different kits that I have and put them all in this very large chunky guy or gal. It's more girly, but anyways. Um, and I did do a hard cover that I made from scratch, covered in fabric and hand painted and I don't, it's probably not showing up great on camera. I think it's showing up a little more mauve on camera. Um, the color was called mauve dust, but in real life it's a little more taupe, I guess you would say. It does have the, the mauve and the kind of purple undertones, um, but it's still very very neutral and then I did the ridges on the spine and this is obviously I've taken a ton of inspiration from Nick the booksmith I did not take her course I would have loved to have taken her course but money's not there for that so I I played around and kind of figured out my own way of of building hard covers similar to and inspired by her. So anyhow, the closure is just some satin ribbon here. Um, it's a nine by six, three inch spine, and it has over 216 pages. Um, there's six signatures and it is packed, absolutely packed. So let me open this guy up here. I'm going to try and go through this quickly, uh, but there, there's a lot in here, so. <laughs> uh, Tim Holtz papers on the cover, and then this here is Seven Gypsies Washi. So there's a, a mix of lace and vintage lace. I did lots of pins this time. Uh, this is just a garment pin with a vintage button and this is just some muslin that I've stamped on. I did a lot of stamping on muslin throughout this whole journal so you'll see that quite a bit. Um, and just kind of a Parisian themed tag here to go with the Eiffel Tower. That's Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose. So you'll see there's just a huge mix of of things in here. Um, there's a few images I want to add to this after it's said and done that are not Tsunami Rose. They're just images from Pixabay. Um, it's a couple of black and whites of like Paris and Rome because I didn't want it to be like a travel journal but I wanted it to be something that it was like somebody had stuffed all their memories and random goodies from their from their life or from a specific point in time in their life into this journal so there's a few images I wanted to add from from the world. <laughs> um, this is just a couple of pieces of ephemera on a brad that have been clipped to the page. 
I think everything in here is Tsunami Rose. There might be one, one thing that's not. Um, this is journaling card on the back and music paper sewn on a little I don't know if this one's parchment I use parchment paper in some and tracing paper in others it was just whatever I had to make the little peekaboo pocket and some sorry silk at the bottom so there's a couple of those and those were inspired by Oh, geez, it's on the tip of my tongue. Nazzy over at Amity Bloom. She does like floating pockets and such in her journals. And I thought they were super cute. So the little dangles, I believe Jibid started those. I uh, love those. And this jewelry comes from a necklace I picked up at an antique shop. This is a large pocket bag. It was a um, bag I made with coffee dyed deli paper. Little pocket here. And this pocket is made from printed images from Tsunami Roses. Uh, it's the kit, the, the travel parcel airmail kit. I cannot think of the name of it right now. Maybe it's Vintage Parcel. Uh, it's this one here that has the image. Ah, I just cut it out to make a couple of little pockets for this. And this is mostly neutral colors, but you will see some pinks and some blues and some teals here and there. There's six large envelope pockets throughout and the center of each signature some more seven gypsies washi and this is a little pocket here i have a couple of these little flowers that i made that are just layers of muslin and fabric and lace and vintage doily pieces and a vintage button i did a lot of clips in this journal sorry getting some coffee <laughs> it's early I'm trying to get this all done before I have to go to work today okay so <laughs> a lot of clips in this journal so that pieces are removable and movable and you can put them wherever you would like or take them out and use them somewhere else whatever you would like uh, other side of that bag there's lots of plain pages, poetry book pages from Robert Frost book, a journaling card. Up at the top here is a clip. Let's see if I can take this off. Again, is that it's coffee dyed muslin that I stamped with a script stamp. And you'll see that throughout this journal as well in both clips and embellishments. Uh, this is one of those handmade beads that uh, Pink Poodle Crafts is the one that I watched a video. I know there's a lot out there, but hers specifically is the one that I watched to learn how to make these. And it just clipped onto the lace with some or rather a rusted safety pin. There's a lot of rusted safety pins throughout this journal as well. Uh, more of that stamped muslin that I just made a little belly band out of. Some Tsunami Rose and then put one of her big elements journaling cards behind it. Got one of those peekaboo pocket tag pages inspired by Nick the booksmith and for the journaling cards what I've done when I was printing out I got distracted and didn't realize I printed a few 
pages on just plain copy paper, like 20 weight pop copy paper. So it was too light in itself, obviously, to use as a journaling card, but I didn't want to waste the, the images that I'd printed out. So I took a coffee dyed index card and sandwiched a piece of muslin in between the two sewed around it and then frayed the edges so you have a nice sturdy card you can journal on the back but it's also super cute with all the frayed edges there and another stamped piece of muslin here this is one of the tsunami rose file folders all tsunami rose some of the images I had just changed the yellow cartridge on my my printer and it had a little problem where it decided to spew some ink and again I didn't want to waste the images so I just added vintage photo distressed them even more and I figured hey it, it adds to the the worn look, the collected, been sitting forever look. This here comes from a book I found at a thrift store a few years back. It's full of copies of different newspaper articles from around the country. And this one was The Sun from Baltimore. Monday, February 8th, 1904. And then the back, the 1906 was for the next page, but there's a lot of white space here that would be great for journaling and some really good coffee dye. But I thought those were kind of neat. So I included one in here. Because you'll see, being the collector, the packer, and the hoarder, none of it coordinates with anything. There's random bits um, it's not like one specific theme. It's, it's a mix of them all. This book page here is some Shakespeare quotes. I purchased a book of quotes from a thrift store or antique store. It was one or the other. It's kind of cool. It's the Oxford Dictionary of Quotations. So there's a few pages of that in here and that one's Shakespeare. Another large envelope, and I left the envelopes just plain because there's already so much going on in this book. And this is just one of my flower clips and journaling card. Another pocket with just a journaling card that I've sewn some lace and some coffee dyed muslin on the top and this down here is vintage lace and I've got clipped here another journal card and this is very much inspired by Nazi and her fabric collage tags and cards so it's sewn onto coffee dyed paper on the back so you can journal on that and the front is just layered fabric and coffee dyed muslin, some vintage lace, and some sari silk. Another one of the peekaboo pockets with a tag and a Tim Holtz pin down there. And that one, whoops, moving stuff here. Let's see if I can read this without sticking my head in frame. That one says tidbits. <laughs> uh, another belly band over here with a, um, a journal card that I made out of one of the images from Tsunami Rose. And there's a gold safety pin pinned through this lace on the edge here that is holding in this hand crocheted flower so that can be moved removed whatever you would like 
and in the pocket is just a myriad of ephemera and there's a perpetual calendar over here we have another tag peekaboo pocket with coffee dyed muslin this is from a hand crocheted I don't remember if this one was the big doily or I think it was the the table co cover tablecloth anyhow I, I cut it up and this was one of the little pieces from it and this is another one of those journal cards I made with the fabric sandwich <laughs> we'll call it And this envelope's a little tuck spot here, and there is a button clipped to the sari silk. All right, we're already at 16 minutes, and I'm not even halfway through this sucker, so we gotta speed up. Envelope, nothing in it, but good tuck spot. Matte paper. This is another fabric collage journaling card inspired by Nazi. Oops. Envelope. More lace. Another floating pocket journaling card with Tsunami Rose. The bingo card has been sewn onto, if I can get it out, coffee dyed paper on the back. And another tag peekaboo pocket page. Some ephemera in the pocket from Tsunami Rose. And this is a large handmade flower that I made a while ago and it's just on a big pin clip rather another one of these guys here and some more stamped muslin and some vintage lace And this side here is dangling a little, it's like a feather or a leaf charm from some old jewelry. And this has just been printed on some coffee dyed paper and has been sewn for some extra journaling. Another little flower clip and envelope. Uh, some of the ephemera I've printed onto coffee dyed paper as opposed to cardstock just to try and lighten the load a little, I suppose. It's on 20, I think it's 28 pound or 24 pound copy paper that's been coffee dyed. But it gives it the extra kind of grungy old, old look. Another floating pocket journal page. And this is just some book page from an old reader's digest. And I'm going to pause this here because I'm already at almost 20 minutes, which means my camera's going to cut off. So I'm going to have to do this in two parts, unfortunately, because there's a lot here and I kept blabbering. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.